Alrighty guys, Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Gardendale Garage here in beautiful Alabama once again. This wonderful Monday afternoon. I hope that you're all doing well. And, uh, well, what we have here is we have Mr. Cavanaugh Holbrook. Now, Cab Daddy went ahead and he sent in his console for an update, okay? In which he had, he had an old update. It hasn't been updated, I think, since 2017 or whatever. So he sent it to me. So, uh... We, we blew it out, had a whole bunch of dust in it. We blew it all out and everything, took care of that, made sure it was all good. Hey, Tyler, how are you, man? Uh, good to see you. I'm glad that you're uh, better. I was worried about you. Hey, Danny, how are you, man? Good to see you, too. And, um, well, Cab went ahead and, uh, you know, like I said, he sent it in. And uh, I blew out uh, several years of dust. You owe me an allergy shot, dude. Okay, <laughs> and um, we reloaded his hard drive. We kept his profiles on there so they're safe and sound. And, um, you know, there was nothing wrong with the glitch chip or anything. The guy who did it did a nice job on it. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't boogered up or anything. And it boots fine, so I'm not touching it. I'm leaving that alone. Uh, we updated the dashboard on it. And it's got the latest Alliance update. Yeah, I can tell you a little better, man. That's good. I'm glad. Hey, Christopher, how are you? Good to see you. Um, so anyway, went ahead and we got this all done. Okay? And um, also, if you noticed last night, you got pushed an update uh, for Alliance server. Well, that's because we went ahead and we did our, uh, we, 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 we went live with our uh, AW cheats. Uh, we still got a little bit of work to do. Not a lot, but, you know, I mean, wanted, wanted to see how you guys liked them and everything. And uh, I'll show them on this thing, too, as well. All right. Well, anyway, Kev, we got it all done. I'm going to boot it up right now, okay? And I'm going to have to pay attention to the screen now. You're an experienced modder, so I don't have to go through the insanity of like showing you how to get this up online for the first time and all that you know i mean so we're just going to go over some basic things here all right just to just to show you what's up with it and everything and i do want to show you i, I want to show you these cheats and everything okay and um you know go through this with you now right, we're booting up now mind you you will see that you're that you are now booting up to aurora okay and uh like i said we got the latest alliance uh update on this thing okay we also gave a 10-day trial purge on this thing and also you got 30 days on our server all right so anyway as you can see we're in show all okay uh pretty much really easy back button is going to give you your file manager scripts all that crap okay uh start button is going to give you all the uh all the necessary information on the system itself the assets the profile the download content and all that and put your games on there and all that kind of good stuff all right and then of course um you know you hit RB and that'll bring up the context menu below right there, you know, and you got your games and yeah, I loaded you up pretty good. You got it. You got everything that you're going to need on this thing and then some, okay, Mass Effect here. You got NCAA Football 14 with college football revamped on it, okay? So you got all those mods and everything. Everything is all loaded up. All title updates are already downloaded everything. You got Xbox Live Arcade. You got the homebrew section where your tools are going to reside. You know, your classic games. There's some classic games on here. And then you have your indie games, and then you also have your emulators, okay? And there's a bunch of emulators on there, okay, as you can see. So that should keep you busy for a while, and then we're back to show off, all right? Now, we're going to go ahead, and what we're going to do here, all right, is we will go ahead, and what I'm going to do is we'll go here. Uh, I'm going to go to the original dashboard first, okay, just to just for ha-ha sake, all right? Now, original dashboard, you'll see you have 30 reserve days left. You got it, good. Okay, and as you can see, I, I got your profiles all on there and everything. Man, you got a lot of profiles, dude. I mean, <laughs> what are, you, are, are, are you like one of those, like, schizophrenic, like, like multi-personality people? You know, I mean, you get on there and change your personality. Because all of them, a lot of them are on live, okay? So anyway, all right, look, I'm going to sign in with mine, all right? I got it on there, so then that way then I'm not touching yours because I just don't want to do that, okay? You know, I mean, that's just, it bothers me when I do stuff like that. So I just don't do that. So when anyway, we're signed in, okay, life is good. All right, as you can see, it's up, it's online, it's good. It's got a good KV on it. I put, uh, I put a good KV on there for you. Got that all done, all right? That way, then you're all good. I'm doing good, Christopher. Antonio, how are you, man? I'm glad that you love that, that you like the AW mods. Yeah, they work pretty good, man. Um, there's a couple things about them, though. But, you know, like I said, we pushed them out, and, uh, you know, it works. There's still a couple things, though, that we have to do to them, okay? And I'm going to go over this with you, okay? So, you know, because we still have a little bit of work to do on them, all right? But we wanted to get them out there, okay? So my developer, he busts his ass to try and get this stuff done. And, you know, and he was just like, well, I'm going to push it live tone, but there's still some things that I got to do yet. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. So, you know, it's all good. So anyway, as you can see, 
It's up, it's online, it's live, okay? So, tell you what, we'll take it back and we'll go back to Xbox Home here, all right? Uh, first thing we'll do is, uh, well, we'll show you the AW cheats, okay? Uh, let me go through here. All right, now we're going to get to Aurora. Now, with the AW cheat right now, you've got to launch it from default multiplayer, okay? There's no way around that, okay, for right now, all right? Because otherwise, it'll, if you go to campaign, it's just going to, it's going to crash on you, okay? I'm just telling you. That's one of the things that we have to work on, okay? But anyway, uh, let me show you here, all right? So anyway, we're signed in, all right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the file manager right here. We go to file manager. We go to HED1. We go to our games. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll bring it down to Advanced Warfare right here. All right, we'll open that up, and then we'll go to Default Multiplayer and launch it right from there. Okay, so let's see here. Here we go. All right, so Default MP, there you are. All right, we'll hit it. It's going to start up. All right, and you'll see that uh, you'll see Advanced uh, Advanced Warfare Cheats loaded. You'll see that it's bypassed. See, there you go. There's your notification and all that. Alliance Cheats are loaded. Everything's cool. All right, now, we'll go ahead, we'll go right to Xbox Live once uh, we get it through our bypass and everything. Good, we'll advance warfare's bypass. Okay, we'll fetch the online profile. It takes it a second or so. All right, so just bear with me here, all right? And then I'm going to show you these cheats, okay? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain, I'm going to explain them to you, and that way then you know, okay? Can you, oh, that's cool, Tyler. That's really cool for BO3. Yeah, that's awesome, man. All right, so, okay, we're in the Xbox Live. There we are. We're good, okay? Now you'll see myself and uh, come up here. There we are. Yeah, don't go there. I love my fuchsia pants, okay? So so just forget even commenting on the pink pants, all right? You know I'm different. I'm a little weird, okay? All right, so anyway, okay. Now, look, to open the cheats, hold in the left trigger and push down on the left uh, on, on the uh, on the left D-pad. All right, there they are, okay? Now, as you can see, all right, if you look up here, which I'm going to bring it to you, there's your cheats right there. So you can, uh, so before you even go into a lobby, you can go ahead and select that. We'll use advanced UAV, no recoil, no sway. It, it pretty much it tells you what it does, okay? Quick load. You can spoof your gamer tag if you want, you know, I mean, it's all good. You got a flashing gamer tag, what makes it flash steel gamer tags, prestige disco, any D rank, uh, any host, leave game, end game, okay? Now we'll hit beat it back out of there. We'll go to aimbot. We'll we'll click that. Now you'll notice you got ADS, and then you have silent, which you don't have to aim. Okay. Uh, I'm I'll demonstrate both. Okay. You got best bone, and then of course we got no spread, which is what we want, and we can do auto wall. We can also do auto fire, but that's like boring. You run around just running around, and it just automatically picks out people. Okay. <laughs> it's like Jesus Christ. How easy do you want it? Okay. You know. So anyway, we have any aim, okay, which we have a spin bot and fake lag, okay? I don't really, I, I'm not using that crap, okay? Look, ESP, we can turn that on. We can do a 3D box. We can draw the bone lines, draw the name, distance, and the weapon. Snap lines, so you're going to use your D-pad to uh, toggle through that bottom, center, top, so on and so forth. So we do the bottom, okay? Snap line modes, all players, enemy, friendly, all players. Okay, crosshairs. I'm a, you, I'm a, you know, you got spread crosshairs and you got hit crosshairs. I'm going to use the hit crosshairs on it, okay? Now we'll back out of there, okay? And, of course, we're not in the game, so you're not going to see any players. And then, of course, you got your settings, okay? And you got your field of view, which you could bring it out. That way, then you can see you could also move the menu, okay? So, as you can see, we can move that. I'm going to put that up there. It goes this way, too, all right? And then you just hit A to disable that, so that way, then you're not moving the menu around instead of picking options, okay? <laughs> all right? And then... To close the menu, okay, just, just hold in left trigger and push down on the D-pad left, and it's closed out. All right, now, I'll tell you what, we'll do, uh, we'll do a private match, okay, because I'm not going to get online with this thing, all right, but I, you know, well, I am online, but I'm not going to get online, if you know what I'm saying, all right? So anyway, okay, good. So we'll do a little game setup here, okay? Friendly bots, I'll pick two. We'll give them a little, a little more, okay? Uh, and then we'll start the game. Okay, so anyway, that's how you can set up your cheats and everything, okay? We are going to add an any for it, so then that way then you can save the settings so you're not, like, constantly constantly resetting the damn things, like when you shut it down and reboot it, you know? So it is going to have a settings any, by the way. All right, just to let you know. All right, I'm going to join Sentinel. Let's see here. 
Yeah, I'll use this friggin' thing right here. Yeah, that works. Okay. So anyway, as you can see, you have your snap lines and everything. Everything's all cool. All right. Now, uh, like I said, I have this on ADS, so of course I have to squeeze in to go ahead and pick them out. All right. So anyway, we'll run up here. And now, mind you, I don't have God mode on this thing, okay? So, you know, you will get shot, okay? It is going to happen. See, but pretty much, uh, you know, yeah, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. When he turned purple, it's a wall banger, okay? Just to let you know. All right, so uh, uh, pretty much, yeah, you're dead, you're dead. And this thing will pick out the, uh, this thing will pick out the, you, you little monkey mother. Get that. Ooh. Okay, uh, this thing will pick out priority, okay? So when you're, uh, when you're up in the air and you've got a bunch of threats around you, but it's going to pick out the one that's the most, most threatening one, you know? So that's the way that uh, my developer set it up, so that way then pretty much you don't have to worry about that. Oh, great, I'm out of ammo already. Holy shit, that's just great. Give me this thing. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so, yep, you little... <laughs> So anyway, we can fly through the air with the greatest of ease. And like I said, it automatically picks out the the most priority threats, okay? Of course, that one from behind me, I didn't... It was a little too late for that, okay? But anyway, yeah, you can go in there. Now, yeah, he's dead. Definitely dead. Oh, shit. There we go. Domed him. Domed him. Got him. Okay. That was, uh... That was all crazy. <laughs> okay, so... Anyway, yeah, it, it, it all works very well. Like I said, we just have some stuff that we have got to fix, though. So just a, war just, just a warning to you guys. You got to launch it, you know, through default multiplayer right now. Otherwise, like I said, it will crash, okay? So just to let you know. And we just got to fix some stuff. Ain't no big deal. But, uh, you know, for the most part, I mean, the thing works really good. Yeah, you little bat. Here, come here. Come here. Come here. There you go. Ah! So anyway... Now, um, if you want to, you can do, uh, let's see here, the aimbot, you can choose uh, silent, no spread, okay, and then back out of there, and now you don't even have to aim, it'll automatically just, just as you can see, headshot, everything is automatic headshot, headshot, <laughs> you just walk right through here and start killing everything and everybody, yeah, see? <laughs> Oh my god, this is going to piss people off, man. <laughs> oh well. Hey, bitch. Where the fuck? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, you little monkey? Give me this thing. There you go. Okay. So anyway, as you can see, that works really well. And then uh, what you can do is you can also uh, put this on auto fire, which works really good. Hey, how you doing, huh? Nice to see you. See, no aiming. Just automatically they're dead. <laughs> okay. Now... We can, uh, let's see here, we can, uh, let's see here, we can do auto fire, okay? There you go. Now we can just roll right through here like a freaking steamroller, all right? And, uh, pretty much, uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Hey, how you doing, huh? Good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it, uh. Yeah, you know, I mean, heck, I could, I, I could just jump up and down here, okay? You know, I mean, and spin around and kill everybody in sight. You know, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And this is all auto fire. I'm not even hitting the damn trigger. All right. So my developer's a little nutty, okay? And he was like, "Well, if you're gonna have a cheat, make sure it cheats." You know, I mean, so pretty much, um, yeah, works real good. <laughs> DNA bomb ready. Oh, goody. DNA bomb. Eh, check that out. Yeah, you're all going to die now. Bitch. You killed me with my pink friggin' pants, okay? So anyway, as you can see, uh, it all works very, very well. Okay? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, DNA bomb. Everybody's dead. Ha! <laughs> okay. So anyway. <laughs> oh, God. This is enough to fucking piss somebody off. Let me tell you. I'd be really pissed if I... If I seen this guy rolling through here like a fucking steamroller like this, this is ridiculous. Oh, really? You want to hide behind there, huh? Here, come here. How do you like that? Oh, you bitch. Oh! Oh, so you had a shield. Okay. So anyway, as you can see, it all works very, very well. No problems there, all right? So, there you go. All right? So anyway, enjoy them, man. Hey, Mike, how are you, man? Your name changed? I don't know. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, as you can see, okay, that's just that, that's just one of the cheats, okay? There's a bunch of them on there, man. All right, um, you also got a trial purge, by the way, on this thing. All right, so I got that all done. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's it, it's all ready to go, man. You got everything that you need, okay? You're all good to go. Um, you know, pretty much the same stuff, man, like, that you had before. You know, when you had this thing, it's just, it's just that, you know, it's a little bit different for you, okay? Just remember, though, okay, that when you get this crazy thing, pull a hard drive, get it up on your network, then press it back in, unplug it for five minutes, let it sit, plug it back in, and it'll be fine. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys what we're how and who with this crazy thing. So, uh, Cab, I hope that you like it, all right? And like I said, she runs like a champ, man. She's all good to go. So we're going to ship it out this afternoon, all right, for you. So we'll get that done. And then, of course, I have... Uh, I have this crazy thing that I'm working on here uh, that uh, I, I just finished, okay? And this one here, this one here is a little crazy, all right? Uh, I still got a little bit more work to do on it, but um, pretty much uh, this one here is for Yazzy. Okay, now Yazzy, he went ahead now. Yazzy's off, uh, off on a ship somewhere. But anyway, I went ahead and um, he wanted something a little different. He wanted a... Uh, he wanted a shadow box effect, so I did. So we did a Rick and Morty, okay, as you can see, okay? And there's good old Rick and Morty, all right? And then, of course, we have Peace Among Worlds, okay? So we'll fire that up, and as you can see, that works real good. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate this one yet because it's not ready yet, okay? I still got some work to do, but we did all your colors and everything. Got this all done. Yes, it's very bright, okay? <laughs> yes, extremely bright, all right? Yeah, I'm gonna show you. I, I went a little. Uh, I went a little crazy. Now I did one before, which was a shadow box effect, but I uh, went ahead and uh, the the inside, you know, was nice. But it was sitting on top of a, a drive, and I painted the drive and everything, to make it look nice. This time I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go one step further because he likes mechanical. Because he, you know, he works on a ship, and uh, you know, he does all kinds of mechanical stuff and everything. So he's into mechanical. So I went ahead and what I did was, is I took the drive here. And, uh, you know, and we did a clear, I grabbed all this clear, this clear, um, this clear centerpiece here, which is supposed to go on a fat disk drive, okay? And, uh, you know, I, I mounted it to that, and I, I, I tapped it and screwed it and everything, so that way it wouldn't go anywhere. And then we mounted uh, Morty and Rick, okay, to the top of that, all right? And then we did the outer cut, which was Peace Among Worlds, which we got that all done. You know, as you can see, I kind of... I kind of freaking chopped this drive a little bit, you know, I mean, it's kind of funny, um, yeah, I kind of chopped it there, yeah, because, uh, I needed a place to put the LEDs over here, you know, I mean, so, anyway, do a little extensive work, okay, now, you say, well, does it spin up, does it grind, no, it doesn't, watch, there, now look, you can get dizzy, okay, there you go, see, works real good, there it is. <laughs> you see the little head moving back and forth? Like in and out of a vagina? Okay, there you go. And, of course, we got Madden 13 on there, okay? But anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you that. So, uh, you know, pretty much Yazzie, uh, she's just about done, brother. And I know that you're off on a ship right now, and you won't be back till next week. So we won't ship this until you get back home, okay? All right, and you message me and let me know when you get back home. Please, for the love of God, okay? But anyway, as you can see... It doesn't grind. It doesn't do anything. You know, I mean, it, it works perfectly fine. It, I, I, the drive took me, the drive took me two hours to make this thing work right. Okay, because I didn't want to have a mess. So I, I meticulously, I had to cut the sides on and everything, and then you know, I had to do all kinds of crazy stuff to it. But anyway, uh, just, just wanted to show you, yeah, that it's that it's done. I just got a little bit more work to do on it, but uh, pretty much she's gonna be good to go. All right. So anyway, uh, when you get back from your, uh, when you get back from your ship. We'll go ahead and we'll get it taken care of. Yeah, you got a remote on here. Yeah, it does red, green, blue, yellow, cyan, purple, you know, auto. Does all kinds of crazy stuff. You can make the speed up a little faster, you know, whatever you want to do. It makes you freaking dizzy. But uh, anyway, needless to say, I really enjoyed doing this one. This one was really, was kind of fun to do. Because uh, it was just like Rick and Morty. How could, how could you not have fun doing that? You know, I mean, yeah, one of those things, man. Thank you, Patrick. I appreciate that, brother. I really do. Thank you very, very much. Um, 
But anyway, she's all good to go, man. So, you know, I just got to do a couple things to it. That's about it. So anyway, guys, listen. Uh, thanks for watching. I greatly do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. You always make me feel good. And you, you kind of uplift my spirits when I see you on the stream and stuff. I really do appreciate you guys. Yeah, this took a little while. Let me show you. You, you know, the consoles come out really good. What people don't see is the behind-the-scenes stuff, okay? Now, now you see this piece among worlds, okay? Uh, you know, I mean, I cut that out on my laser just like I cut out Rick and Morty on my laser. You know, I got a CNC machine, okay? Let me show you what happens when things go bad, okay? I want you to look at that, all right? Now, <laughs> um, kind of looks like, uh, like Lucifer got hold of it and held it over the pits of fire with Beezlebub fanning the flames or whatever, okay, but, um, yeah, yeah, that's what happens, and, yeah, it looks good this way, but, um, burnt the friggin' paint right off, what happened was, is the settings on the, uh, because I, I use a, um, what I use to do this is, uh, I use what's called a, um, it, it, it's an effect that actually, uh, how can I say this, it does, um, it does a raster effect, okay, where the laser hits at several points, you know, to make to, to make it a little bit clearer, and you could adjust the size of it and everything, so that way then you can make it so you wind up with this thing looking when you're, when you're done with it, when it's done right, you know, as you can see, nice and clear through, you know, through the damn thing, okay, as you can see, you know, but, uh, when, when it becomes diffused and uh, you got the settings wrong on the heat and everything and how many uh, millimeters per second the thing is moving, well, the end result is a gigantic mess on your hands and a melted piece of plastic from hell. And yes, I have several of them. So, you know, I mean, like I said, nothing comes out exactly perfect every time. Well, well, well sometimes, yeah, but, but sometimes you wind up with something like that happening too. So that, that's, you, you know, like I said, there's a lot of behind the scenes, a lot of cursing, a lot of swearing, um, a lot of psych psychotic babble, okay, and, and me and, and me running around grabbing hold of my head going, safe place, safe place, safe place, okay, so, you know, it just works that way, man, and, uh, you know, I mean, like I said, I, I really do, I really do appreciate you guys, okay, you know, and, um, you know, like I said, I did, I did this, the etching was $85, okay, you, you know, everybody says, it says to me, well, that must have cost a fortune, blah, blah, blah. Nah, 85 bucks. And I do this on an Xbox One. I'll do this on a PlayStation. Hell, I'll do this on your mother's ass if you want, okay? It doesn't matter to me, okay? I mean, if you want your dog tattooed, I can do that too. No big deal. Whatever you want, man. Gerbils, you know, I mean, hey, whatever you want, okay? But, um, you know, being real with you, yeah, it's $85 to do this. And I, I come up with the concepts, and then, of course, I design them, and then, you know, off it goes. So, you know, I mean... I, it, it's it's fun for me. I enjoy it. It's it's a lot of fun. And um, you know, like I said, when you're able to build something like this, and it's nice. It's nice to show it off, and it's also nice that people see it and appreciate it as well. You know, I mean, you know, like I said, everybody has their has their thing. You know, this guy was Rick and Morty, and um, he just basically just wanted a cut. And I was like, dude, it's eighty five dollars, and I'm not charging eighty five dollars just for a freaking cut, man, because I could do that in my sleep. All right, so. You know, I wanted to give him something a little, you know, so, end result, it all depends on how crazy I want to get with it, you know, and I, and believe me, you all know me, I'm freaking psychotic, so there you go, but anyway, guys, listen, thanks so much for watching, I really do appreciate it, you know, you guys are awesome, and um, I'll holler at you at the next one, okay, so you all take it easy, and um, I will talk to you all later, and thank you, Danny, I appreciate that, man, you know, I really do, thank you very, very much, you know, I mean, like I said, I love you guys, and uh, thanks for watching and everything. Thanks for hanging with me, okay? And uh, I got more consoles to build. I got a ton to build, actually, so, you know. And um, also, just to let you guys know, all right, listen. Um, Friday through Monday, all right, I am going to be gone, okay? I'm going to NOLA. I'm going to probably send, send send pictures and everything else, but it's my birthday on. It's, it's my birthday the 30th, so Lorraine decided that um, she's going to take me to New Orleans, so I'm going to go down there, and I'm going to get jazzy, okay, all right, so, and I'm going to see new news, lots of them, because I have beads, so anyway, listen, <coughs> just to let you know, from Friday to Monday, I'm not going to be here, okay, but, however, though, I'm going to get as many consoles as I can out before I leave, I've been getting them out now, and they've been 
getting consistent after May 30th. Um, everything will be 7 to 10 days shipping. And also, besides that, also, we're coming out with a college football revamp giveaway for you guys, okay? Don't think I've forgotten about that. I haven't just been very crazy around here lately. And then, um, also, we're going to be having a sale, okay? So, just to let you know, all right, what's happening. And that's going to happen when I get back, okay? So, we're going to have a sale on consoles. So I'm going to try and make these as affordable as possible. You know, I mean, because uh, a normal 250 gig when everything comes out, 186 shipped, okay? I'm working with the, uh, I've got, I've got, I've got 120 gig drives and I've got a bunch of them. So, you know, I'm going to put them in consoles and I'm going to make like a real sports, you know, package or whatever. And, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the price on them because you guys have done me so well over this past year. It's been ridiculous. Okay. I mean, seriously, you guys have kept me so busy. It's been nuts. I mean, to the point where it was going out 20 days before I can get a console out for people. Because it was just nutty. Because everybody was ordering them. It was getting crazy. And it's still crazy, but it's okay. But I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting caught up now. Thank God I'm able to catch my breath. So, needless to say, just to let you know, okay, what's going on. You know, when I get back, we're having a sale. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead. I'm going to build the college football revamp giveaway for you guys. Okay, which is going to be a Jasper. Full custom with laser etched glass and everything, you know, because I'm not going to just give you a plain Jane console because that's just revolting. Okay, all right. So, you know, try to make it a little better for you guys. But anyway, just to let you know. And, um, you know, I mean, just to let you know, I really do appreciate it. I really do. Thank you very, very much. And, um, you know, like I said, your friend bought an RGH from the modded warehouse, console warehouse. I feel sorry for him. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Actually, I had a couple people that had bought from them. And um, one of them, the drive wasn't matched. If you remember, there's a whole big stink about it on Facebook and everything. And it's just like... And then, of course, the warranty where they say, Oh, yeah, we're going to warranty it. But we have to inspect it first. Okay. That's why I put a security seal on mine. So that way, if the security seal is broken, I know you've been in there. All right. Not that I don't mind that, but, you know, I mean, you know, if somebody all of a sudden decides that they want to put LEDs in or something like that and they short it, well, that's not my fault. Okay. I mean, so, you know, but, uh, you know, like I said, yeah, to each his own, you know, I mean, it is what it is. But, uh, you know, like I said, mine come fully loaded, ready to go out of the box with everything, just like this one here. Oh, and by the way, this was a dashboard. Uh, the, the, uh, the other one was a dashboard update. So it cost a grand total of like 30 bucks the cab okay for all that work so anyway needless to say i don't have to go any further than that anyway guys listen you all have a good one and i'm gonna holler at you all later okay and i hope that you have a good day and be safe and everything and uh i'm gonna catch you on the flip side you all have a good one talk to you all later guys have a great day